Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about single nucleotide polymorphism or SNPs. A single nucleotide polymorphism or SNP or is pronounced as SNP is a variation at a single a nucleotide position A or Z or C or T in a DNA sequence among individuals. Okay, so why it's a single nucleotide polymorphism? Because there is a variation um, variation at a single position. Okay, in the DNA there is a variation at a single position. This position can be A or C or Z or T because in DNA has A, Z, C, T. Okay, so this variation among different individuals. Okay, this is called single nucleotide polymorphism. If more than one percent of a population does not carry the same uh, nucleotide at a specific position in the DNA sequence, uh, then this variation can be classified as a SNP. Okay, uh, SNPs occur in non-coding regions of the genome as well as uh, coding regions in the gene, both exons and introns. Okay, exons are codings, whereas introns are non-coding regions. Although a particular SNP may not cause a disorder, but some SNPs are associated with certain diseases. Okay. Not all single nucleotide polymorphism cause disease, but some SNPs they are associated with certain diseases. And these associations allow scientists to look for SNPs in order to evaluate an individual's genetic predisposition to develop a disease. Okay? So now I will show you an example uh, how the SNPs occurs among different individuals. Okay? So as before I talk about this example here, single nucleotide may be chains, that is called substitution, different types of single nucleotide polymorphism. It can be chains, that's called substitution, it can be removed, that's called deletion, or it can or, or a new single nucleotide can be added to a polynucleotide sequence. This is called insertion. These are the different types of single nucleotide polymorphism. Okay, now look at these two individuals, individual one and individual 2 and we are looking at chromosome chromosome 2 copy 1 and chromosome 2 copy 1 okay so uh, this is uh, we are looking at chromosome 2 and this is the sequence of nucleotide sequence in chromosome 2 in this individual so all and if you compare individual 1 and individual 2 all the sequence except the ones highlighted in the yellow part are similar so basically between individual 1 and individual 2 there is a variation at this single T nucleotide position, okay, this T in, instead of T uh, in uh, individual 2, we have C, all right, so T will bond with A and C will bond with Z. So, this kind of variation in the single nucleotide position among individuals, okay, between two, between individuals or among individuals, this is called single nucleotide polymorphism. So, what has happened here? Here, as the name suggests, there is a difference of the nucleotide basis at one single position okay this AGCT at single position this is at this position and here we have T whereas here we have C so this individual 2 it has this single nucleotide polymorphism okay so I mean out of this two, two, those two individuals if we consider this individual as healthy one and this individual 2 may have some disease but not necessarily not all the single nucleotide polymorphism that lead to a disease I hope this video was helpful in an understanding of the concept of single nucleotide polymorphism and please subscribe our channel for more contents like this. Thank you very much.